No, my darlings, it's so good to see you. I have just received a new book from the library, and I am going to read it to you right now. So get comfortable. It's time for... Once upon a time. Our story today, The Zacks, is taken from Sneetches and Other Stories by Dr. Seuss. Let's see what a Zacks is and what's happening with them, shall we? Let's follow along if you have it. One day, making tracks in the prairie of Prax, came a north-going Zacks and a south-going Zacks. And... It happened that both of them came to a place where they bought. There they stood, foot to foot, face to face. Look here now, the north-going Zack said. I say, you are blocking my path. You are right in my way. I'm a north-going Zack. And I always go north. Get out of my way now and let me go forth. I guess he told him. <laughs> Who's in whose way? He snapped the south going sax. I always go south, making south going tracks. So you're in my way. And I ask you to move and let me go south in my south going groove. Then the north going sax puffed up his chest with pride. I never, he said, take a step to one side and I'll prove to you that I won't change my ways if I have to keep standing here 59 days. 59 days? Oh, my darlings, that's a long time to be standing in one place. And I'll prove to you, yelled the South going sex. But I can stand here in the prairie of Brax for 59 years. For well, I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in South Going School. Never budge. That's my rule. Never budge in the least. Not an inch to the west. Not an inch to the east. I'll stay here, not budging. I can and I will, if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Oh my goodness, my darlings, what is going to happen? <laughs> well. Of course, the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, the new highway came through. And they built it right over those two stubborn zacks and left them there, standing unbudged in their tracks. Oh. The end. Thank you.